Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are documenting day 16 in my December daily and we have a little visitor. This is Stitch. Um, Stitch is my spirit animal. He is my favorite of all the stuffies that I've accumulated all over the years. And the reason Stitch is in my video is because Stitch plays a really big part in the story that I'm telling. So I'm gonna put him away. I have to hide him from the cats because cats, uh, I mean, I love my girls, don't get me wrong, but I think they're on a mission to destroy everything I love. So I'm hiding them. So here's what I have on my desk right now. I have the Time Story Stamp. This is from Allie Edwards. I have my, I keep my story stamps like dated uh, with the, I keep them in alphabetical order and then I also have the, um, the month they come out in. So this was from September 2017. I have a uh, two by two pocket, but there's only six of them. So I took a sheet of the eight two by twos and I cut it, is there eight? Twelve. A sheet of the twelve two by twos and I cut it down. I still have finals brain. You guys, finals are, is over, but I'm going to have finals brain forever. So yeah. So the twelve pocket, I cut it down to six. So it's actually four by six. And then I have, I have my journaling, which you can tell is too big to fit in the album, which means we are making a flip. I have a large photo of Stitch and I, and the story that I'm telling is of Stitch and I, our adventures that day, because the day 16 was my final, um, so I took Stitch with me, and I actually had him on my desk while I was taking my exam, and my teacher laughed at me. I think she thinks I'm a lunatic, but I was like, is it okay if I keep him on my desk? And she was like, whatever it takes, and I was like, okay, cool, thanks. So I took all these pictures of Stitch while we were roaming and studying and going on our antics. Like, I actually did a hot yoga class with my, I call them my nursing sisters. It's like the, the group of girls that have really gotten me through nursing school. So we took a hot yoga class, we studied all day. This was me right outside my classroom before the exam. This was Stitch after the exam. And then this was literally right after the exam. Like I went outside, I sat in the hallway, and like I took a deep breath because it was all over. And so this picture I printed four by six. And then I have the picture of my girls after our hot yoga class. Stitch is not in this picture because he couldn't come up in the yoga studio because he's too cute and he would cause so much trouble. Um, so my plan is to score this. There's just mess everywhere. This is how you can tell I don't clean my desk after I scrap. So my plan is to score this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So this journaling is size six by eight. It is eight inches wide, six high. I'm gonna score it right at the four inch mark and fold it in on itself. So that is an easy fix. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm gonna just do that. And then one photo is gonna go here, and then the other photo is gonna go behind. And I have to remember to, before I attach it, to um, put a bit of acetate in. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that right now. Is find, I have like scraps of acetate everywhere because I'm always doing this. And of course, right now I can't find a single piece. And I had everything else, this is what gets me, like this is what drives me nuts, you guys. I get everything else ready for the video and then I'm ready to start filming and I'm missing all these like silly things. So I'm gonna go, I found a piece of acetate. This one already had holes punched for another project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off. And now cut a one inch piece of acetate before I cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it and then punch the holes cause I had to punch the holes to match my, um, my two by two pocket that I chopped up, so. Here we go. I'm just gonna start assembling things while I talk to you guys. So yeah, so my final exam was uh, just as grueling and as nerve wracking as you expect a nursing final exam to be. I left that exam wondering if I was in lecture all semester. Like, you know, I don't know if this has ever happened to you um, when you were a student, but like you study and you study and you go to class and you do your homework and you do all the things and you get to your exam and it's like, where have I been for the last four? That's how I felt after the test. Like I literally was like, uh, did, I know I went to class. I know I did the reading. I know I paid attention. Um, what happened? And you know what? It, it went really well. Like I said in my day uh, 15 video, I already have my grades. Everything is fine. But I was very stressed out and I get very, so today's journaling is about anxiety. Uh, today's journaling is about a lot, actually. It's one of those things where I started writing about something, and then by the time, I didn't leave myself enough space. 
that's okay. It's one of those, it's one of those stories where I started writing about something and then by the time the journaling was finished it was about something completely different and honestly when that happens it's typically my favorite because it means that like what I was writing is real and it's authentic and that is my favorite my favorite way to write. I'm just making sure that when I fold this and I punch holes. Okay, so yeah, there's not enough room to punch these to punch the holes. So I just got to check this, double check this and score it again. I mean, crease it again just so it, it works the way it's supposed to. Okay. And I, I print my journaling on um, Epson presentation matte photo paper, not photo paper, Epson presentation matte paper. I'm like all sorts of tongue tied, you guys. Yeah, so I print my journaling on Epson presentation matte paper. Um, so it's, I think like the closest card weight to it would be like 65 pounds. It's not any like heavier than 65 pounds, but it's really bright white, which is why I like it because I like... I like having bright white, um, my journaling on bright white paper. And copy paper is just, it's too thin. I mean, not unless you get like nicer copy paper, but at that rate, you might as well just buy uh, presentation paper, which is what I use, so. All right, so that's how that's gonna look. And then, you know what I should have done? I should have done my stamping before I started attaching things because now, now things are stuck. So if the stamping doesn't work, then there there is no plan B. So the stamping's gonna have to work. So what I wanted to do was kind of do like a, like a mock day in the life documenting since I have all these pictures of Stitch and I was just gonna put a timestamp on all of these pictures since I had the time, a timestamp since I had the timestamp. I was gonna put a timestamp since I had the timestamp and um, say that five times fast. And the timestamp had these like fun analog, digital, analog whatever like you know the old school clocks it had that font that was really similar to the old school clocks so I am going to look at exactly the times I took those photos and I'm going to timestamp each and every one of them and I might stamp one on camera and then disappear and do the rest just because I already lost a picture of stitch no it's right here because my stamping's not the best um, and stamping on camera makes me nervous and then I also have to like get my head all the way in the shot to get the the stamping right so I'm gonna stamp one that's what I'll do and then I'll come back so here's how it looks so I have uh, so I took this picture of course at 1147 so I'm gonna have to stamp, stamp the one twice um, so I think what I might do is stamp the one and then the four and the seven and then go back and just put another one and I'm using Stazon because I don't know how true this is. I probably should have tested this. You guys, I have not tested this. I have no idea if this is going to go the way it's supposed to. But I've heard that like Stazon is one of the best inks for stamping on photos. I'm also putting that in backwards. That's not how you put the time. So let's fix this. Oh my god, this is going to be terrible. I am sorry. I'm only doing one of these because you do not want to watch me like bust with this for eight pictures because this is going to take me like eons. Okay. So I'm going to stamp the, yeah, I'm going to, I didn't even, like the, my stamping block has guidelines and I didn't even put these stamps down straight. Why do I even bother? Okay. I think, yeah. So this is a picture of me having lunch. So it's my, it's the lunch I had. I had soup from Whole Foods um, and it looks nicer on my phone than it printed. I wonder what I did when I printed it. I must have like messed with the white balance or something, but whatever. It's in the album. I don't care if it's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to rub my stamp on the, never mind. I'm going to lose my stamps. I like priming my stamps on the back of my hand. Some people use erasers. I just, I just go for it. Do not like, do not get stamping inspiration from me, you guys. Don't just, it's not worth it. All it will do is stress you out because all it does is stress me out. Like I'm covered in ink already. Okay. I'm going for it, so I'm just gonna stamp the 147. Take the, I worked! Yes! Oh, I just hit the camera. I'm so sorry. That is how excited I got. I hit the camera. Um, now I'm gonna have to make sure I'm still in focus. So I'm gonna stamp this one. I'm going to make sure I'm still in focus, and then I'm gonna go back and do all the other stamping and come back when it's all done. 
See? See? I've ruined it already because now that one is not in a straight line as the rest of them. But yeah, I don't mind that. But this is, this is why I don't stamp because I managed to ruin my stamping every single time. But that's what it's going to look like. So it's going to have the time stamps on all of them. And I'm going to put them in the pocket and I'll be back when it's finished. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I did my stamping and um, it went. I don't, know if, I don't know if I can say it went well. It went. Um, so what I did was I, just what I said I would do, I managed to get ink on my stamping block and get it on my photo on this one. Um, but yo, c'est la vie, I guess. So here's my photos and I'm going to put them in chronological order. So that's Stitch at, um, at Yoga. And then where's Stitch with Soup? Here's Stitch with Soup. And then here is Stitch with my smoothie. And then I'm gonna flip it. Here is Stitch right when I was ready to like just die because I was done. Here is Stitch right before I went into the exam. And then here is Stitch when I got home. And then like I said, I have my big photo because this has to go on the back of day 16. And then I have my photo with my journaling which is gonna go behind this um, thing. And then I have some star transparency. Uh, th th you guys, I'm like down to the wire with this sheet and I am like doing everything possible to not use it up. Like I'm, I'm hoarding this. And I was wondering, like I'm trying to figure out how to embellish the two empty squares. Cause whatever I do, I have to do it on both sides so it doesn't like look weird. So I was wondering what to use. So I have, um, like I have these fun cork shapes, but I don't have the same size in either of them. So that won't work. Uh, so you guys are just going to figure this out together. I have these. Um, and I think I have, t I have two of this sheet. So I could just use those. Let me, where's the second sheet? Yeah, so th this came in the... I want to say this came in the main kit. I cannot use all is calm or all is bright because nothing was calm about that day. Um, I could use the tis the season one. Um, this merry moment. Was this moment very merry? I'm definitely not using it's the most wonderful time of the year because finals week is horrible and there's nothing worth celebrating about finals week. Um, actually, I do want to use this star and this heart. And I don't care that they're different on either side. I think that could be fun that they're different on either side. So I'm just going to put this star down. This Is that centered? Yeah. And then I'm going to flip it and just put the star on the other side. So that's that. Like, I like that. And then I just got to figure out what to do with the other one. So I think I'm going to try to find some cardstock stickers that are... Huh. Hmm trying to figure out if any of these work like I don't like the the I'm gonna be perfectly honest like the upbeat sentiments don't make sense because I was not happy about having to take this final um so yeah these that say like peace and sparkle don't really work so I'm just gonna keep looking until I find one that does I mean I could just use these two at the bottom I'm just gonna use these two at the bottom because they don't say anything they're just another star and a fun stripe, so I'm just gonna use these two at the bottom. And that works, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slip these into the pocket and keep going. So these are just gonna slip right into the pocket and because they're cut on transparency, they, where did it go? You guys, I just, ha, -ha. okay. And then um, I already had my 16 put in the pocket. This is the um, the acetate numbers. It's, a, it's clear, so it's the same on both sides. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start putting in the photos. I left the photos out because I didn't know if I wanted to embellish them further. But I think I'm going to leave them because they... I'm already putting the photos in the wrong order. I think I'm going to leave them because they tell the story. Now since I use so many circles in here... I'm going to use some chipboard circles on my big photo. I didn't want to embellish my big photo until I knew what type of shape I was going to put. So I have circles and I have stars. So I can do either circles or stars in the pocket with my big photo. So I'm just, I mean not on the pocket, on my big photo. So I'm just gonna keep putting these in the pocket. I think this is gonna be really fun. Like I'm really happy with how this looks already. Cause I like having mixed shapes. So I'm gonna have this big photo and then I'm gonna have this like weird 
like two by two pocket of just pictures of my stuffed animal. And then it's going to be like this. So it's going to be the, the big picture with the 752 stamp. And then that's going to flip out with my journaling. And then this is just a picture of us at yoga. So that's the spread. I'm going to just now work on embellishing it. And after day 15, which was humongous, I think my album could use... I don't have any circle chipboard that that matches. That's not true. All my chipboard has popped out somewhere. I gotta find something. See, doesn't this look a lot neater than it did the last time I was using stuff? Uh, because I finally, like, or, okay. So I could use this, the story of today one right here. I actually like that. I like that story of today. Um, or I could use a pleather circle. Do any of these have sentiments that make sense? No, if I see merry and bright one more time, there is nothing merry or bright about finals. Not that one. Okay. So I think I could use the story of today. And, um, but then I just have to put something where it says the story. So I got to make sure I have, I could use one of these. So what, is there one of these that says, huh? <gasps> you and me, that's perfect. Cause the story is about stitch. Great. So I'm just going to put this sticker that says you and me right here on the, the story of today chipboard. Okay. I love that. That works perfectly cause it's about stitch and the first picture stitch and I are both in. So it's, it just, it's serendipitous. It's serendipitous. It would be serendipitous if I could get the backing off of this chipboard and okay so my paper trimmer no longer escapes my t-square is where it's supposed to be and now I can't take backing off a of chipboard okay perfect so I'm gonna put this sticker that says the story of today with the you and me laid over it and it's great where is this which is perfect because I have circles and then I have more circles and then I have more circles so now I need to put a circle here and the only one I have, I have another story of today. I don't want to use that one. And I have this buffalo plaid, which I don't think I like. So, I uh, don't know if there's anything else. Ah, uh, what if I use one of these transparent ones? Yeah, I went through and I like organized all my embellishments because the way things were high, like the way things were was like frightening because I couldn't find anything. I only have that red one. I don't know if I love that either. Okay, I'm gonna go through my stickers again and see if there's anything with a circle. Oh no, I have these. I can just use one, something from here. Um, so I have this green star, which would, oh, the green star is perfect because I have that star. Yep, I'm going for it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, these are these like fun metal embellishments that were in the main kit. Um, I should have gotten, there was like an add-on to one of Allie's story kits where this these metal embellishments were an option. And I really wish I had gotten them because I love them so much. All right, so I'm putting that star right over where that 752 is. And then I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to write, oh, it says time for. And what is it time for? Time for memories? Time for joy? I'm not sure what it's time for yet. So I'm going to fill that in after I decide what it's time for. Uh, cause I'm not sure what it's time for. And then I have this. So I just got to put another circle up here. Uh, do I have a circle that I love? <laughs> and the only reason I'm putting a circle on the back side is cause I want to make sure that I tie that into, like, I don't want it to just look like, okay, I had an empty space. So I just threw a random, like a random thing. Like I want it to look like it's supposed to be there. And I think the easiest way to do that would be to add another circle. But I'm going to think about that. And I'm going to put it in the album first. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the album. I'll be right back after it's in the album. And then I'll decide what kind of embellishment I want to use. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll be right back after it's in the album. Hey guys, so I'm back. So we are in the album. And I love... Oh, okay, so I love the way... That is coming off. I need to put more tape. I love the way this looks so much. I love having this everyday story. First of all, I love having this picture of Stitch because Stitch is my favorite. And then I have 
Oh, here's something I did um, off camera. So I added these one inch Avery tabs just to make it easier to flip between these two half pages since they're the same size. So I have this Avery tab, I have the rest of my photos, and then I have the other Avery tab. And then I added time for toys because the story I'm telling is actually about toys. It started off being a story about being anxious and a story about Stitch and it turned into a story about toys. So I'm going to read you my story now. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna read you my story because it's, it's one that I really enjoyed writing. And I think, I think a lot of you might be able to relate to some of the things, maybe not the like anxiety part because that, that is, that is its own beast. But I hope a lot of you can relate to the, the toy stuff. So here's my journaling. It says time for toys. And it says, dear Stitch and dear every soft and squishy thing that came before you. On this last day of nursing school, and isn't that sentence alone big and scary and panic-inducing and worth celebrating, my anxiety is through the roof and it feels like my mind is running a mile a minute and, and, and I am forgetting how to breathe, forgetting all the things my doctor has taught me and all the coping mechanisms and the counting and the space that I have carved in my mind to visit when it is especially bad and it is turtles all the way down today and I do not know how to find my way out of this mess. And then I saw you and I grabbed you and I held you and you have grounded me and the world seems a little bit safer now than it did five minutes ago. I've told everyone that will listen that you are my spirit animal, a little wild, a little weird, but with a boundless ability to learn and to adapt and to love and to grow and to change. But beyond having a squishy blue buddy to hold on to, you remind me of holding on to other soft friends and of all the little bits of fluff that has been given to me over the years. I have always collected stuffed animals and when I lived on my own and it was dark and lonely, there was always a little bit of cotton and fluff to hold on to. Those that loved me figured out early on how much I enjoyed having plushies around me and my bed at my parents' home was always piled high with bears and lions and unicorns and a single Dalmatian that made it from the time I turned seven until I saw my 16th birthday. You, Stitch, remind me of them and of the pair of Christmas bears my mother bought for me on my first Christmas but refused to let me take them when I left home. I'll get them eventually. And of the three foot tall bear my first boyfriend brought me, that bear lost it a lot longer than that relationship did. And of all the soft and squishy things Joshua bought me to remind me of him when we had to sleep apart. And of the way it felt to sleep in the middle of them while they kept watch in the night and kept the monsters away. Olaf taught me that water holds memories, and my mother taught me that objects hold stories, and sometimes these things create a history for us to go back to and to revisit over and over. Love that you are one of those things in my life to hold space for me, to be the gatekeeper of that place between then and now, to take me right back to where I was when I first saw you. Love that you make me remember being young enough to sit on my dad's shoulders and young enough to get excited on the first day of school and young enough to believe in miracles and young enough to dream of bigger and better. I need some of that childlike faith and enthusiasm today as I prepare for the last exam of my nursing school career and the final hurdle between me and what lies ahead. Maybe I'll stick you in my book bag between my pencils and my pens and the ream of paper holding all of my nursing notes. And maybe you'll watch over me as I work through those 100 questions like all of your older siblings watched over me while I slept. And maybe, just maybe, when it's all over, you and I will make a cup of hot chocolate stuffed with marshmallows just like I like it. And we'll put on Disney Plus and Joshua and the girls will join us for a movie under the covers. And we'll bottle a bit of that December magic and celebrate a job well done. So... That's my journaling. That's my day 16 story. It's about Stitch and it's about toys and it's about being anxious and learning how to deal with being anxious. And it's the Turtles All the Way Down reference is to a book by John Green called Turtles All the Way Down. And it's about a woman, a young woman with anxiety. And I remember reading that and going, huh, I think he wrote that just for me. And it was the perfect place to, I like including references to other people's writing in my own writing. Um, John Green will never read this, but if you do John Green, I love your work. Um, so yeah, that's day 16. It's a relatively simple story. It is an easy story. Um, I like having things like this for days where I don't have a lot of photos and there aren't major things happening because I have a big picture and I have a few small elements and I have my story and that is enough to get it in the book. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If this is your first time, hello and welcome. There are 15 other process videos if you have nothing else to do for the next few hours of your life and you want to see what's going on in my December daily album. To all of you that keep coming back every single time, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for creating this space. Thank you for coming and hanging out and spending 25 minutes. That seems to be the sweet spot. 25 minutes with me. 
I hope you guys are having the most magical December ever, and I'll see you at day 17. Until next time, keep your crafty friends and have the best day.